The NPA remains confident that the man accused of killing strip club owner Lonnie Jackson will be extradited to South Africa. And the situation in Kaya Sands, informal settlement northwest of Johannesburg, is quiet this morning. I'm Richard Brooks. The NPA remains confident that the man accused of killing strip club owner Lolly Jackson will be extradited to South Africa. George Luca, also known as George Smith, is due to appear in court in Cyprus today. He was arrested in Cyprus after being on the run since 2010. Edwin Itzidi reports. Luca, also known as George Smith, will appear in court for a formal bail application. The NPA wants Luca to be tried here, but South Africa has no bilateral extradition treaty with Cyprus. The NPA is Mtunzi Maga. We've opted for the Royal Grand Convention on Extradition Road. Luca will in all probability oppose the extradition application. Apart from the 2010 murder of Lolly Jackson, the owner of the Teasers franchise of strip clubs, Luca is wanted for theft, possession of suspected stolen property and fraud, all in unrelated cases. Edwin in City, SABC News, Johannesburg. The situation in Kaya Sands, informal settlement northwest of Johannesburg, is quiet this morning. Yesterday, the community protested blocking roads. Late yesterday, tear gas was fired at protesting residents. They are demanding better houses, amongst others. This resident says they are tired of empty promises and they want houses which have been promised to them. Since they promised us for a long time, as I said, about 15 years to stay at a, a Kai Sand. Uh, first uh, uh, council, second council, third council, fourth council, telling us, telling us a liar. A couple has died after a Putco bus hit their house in Brom Fisherville, Soweto. The accident also left more than 30 people injured. Gauteng Traffic Police spokesperson Abid Sebasa explains. The driver of the bus lost control of the vehicle, plowed into a house and killed a couple while they were asleep or in bed. As I'm talking, they are still trapped inside the house. 36 passengers injured, four critical situation. Traffic severely backed up in the area. Police Constable Francis Rasuche's family have vented their anger at police for not informing them first before going public about the outcome of forensic investigations into remains found in timber near Pretoria. Police today confirmed that the remains found in her former boyfriend William Kuna's house are that of Rasuche, who had been missing for eight years. Rasuche's sister, Rose, says they are also angry with Nkuna. We will never, I repeat myself, we will never, repeat, we will never even have his family. We don't want to see that he have his family. We don't even want to see them. Please, we don't want to see William Nkuna. Not at all.